In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to add the Magic Music Wizard to your copy of PowerDirector if you don't have it there already. I noticed in my new copy of PowerDirector 15 Ultimate, when I clicked on my Magic Tools, I only had one, but when I went to another machine with a copy of PowerDirector 13, I had a second tool called a Magic Music Wizard. And I asked myself, how can I bring that feature to my other copy? Well, let me show you what worked for me. In order to find out if you have it, you click above the timeline to this box called Magic Tools. And when you click on this icon, uh, originally mine just said Magic Movie Wizard, which uh, we have lessons on. But I did not have a second option that was Magic Music. Let me show you what worked for me in order to find a, a copy that I could, I could apply to my copy of PowerDirector. What I did is I went to the internet and I wound up at CyberLink at this particular screen. And, and this screen and the URL is up here if you want to uh, uh, note that. Or you can just Google uh, or Bing uh, some of the items here to get to this screen. But there was a question about installing or using Smart, Smart Sound Magic Music. And below in the second section, there is a link to a download location. And so all I did was click on that link and it took me to the download location. This is the, the screen I went to. And it's interesting that it says it applies to PowerDirector 9 through 14, but it did work on my version 15. And so I choose, chose the bottom op option here, Download Full Smart Sound Quick Tracks 5.1.8 Installer and Common Data. So that's what I did. And when I did that, I'll minimize this window, uh, that popped up for me a, uh, a folder, a zip folder containing these two items, which I then extracted. And once you double click and extract them, all I did was click on the Quick Tracks 5.8.1 and it went through an install process. After that, then I opened up my copy of PowerDirector and when I clicked on the magic wand, ah, I had a brand new option. Let me show you what that option does. When I click on Magic Music, uh, it will populate the screen it may update some information, but it does hook right into CyberLink and PowerDirector. And it gives you several categories of songs. You can click all the songs or you can click by style or type of song. And this will give you a, a whole list of different kinds of options. You can double click on the song and then right click. Uh, and then you can drag it down into your soundtrack sometimes. If the song is white characters, you need to purchase it. If the song is in blue, let me click on all styles and click up here again. It should repopulate here quickly. If the category or the song is in blue, and then it's something that uh, is, is given to you as part of their common database. Just double click. Or let me take another one. Uh, I like the feature presentations. Uh, Wild Chase. And then all you need to do is uh, take whatever song you want, drag it down into an audio track or all the way to the bottom uh, to your, preferably to your soundtrack. And then you can use that as part of your uh, movie. I can go back to a different screen, add a clip if I wanted to. Let me import a media file here quickly. Okay. Drag that to a higher track. 
and then we'll go ahead and we'll obviously in this case the picture does not match the music if you want to experiment with what soundtracks can do for you. Uh, this gives you a cluster of tracks that you can at least begin to play with and enjoy. And if you click on any of the white ones and click on purchase, you'll have a pop-up window. They are not cheap, uh, but they are available. So I thought I'd share that information with you as you continue to uh, learn more about CyberLink PowerDirector. Director. <laughs>